I am leaving this right till it was a master's two. I am leaving this right till it was a master's two. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but Dan Liplock, handsome Dan Liplock, has hit the ring and attacked Brandon Tegan. And what, what the hell's Robbie you Leach doing it? now? <laughs> oh, good work. That's what happens when these promoters are dumb enough to lead handsome Dan Liplock off the damn car. Right here, baby. Who? Who? Handsome Dan Liplock, you better learn the name, baby. Handsome Dan, 205.4 pounds of chiseled steel and sex appeal. You people, you give a team called the Top Guys a damn spot on the card for the tag titles, but you leave the Top Guy off the damn card? Are you kidding me? He's already proved his worth. He beat that wannabe Superman Scott Keys back in July. Right in this ring, right in this damn town. How much does it take you people to understand? Huh? What? Oh, Dan. Unbelievable. Dan Lipnock has taken over Crapple Mania 3. Low lives of a town called Peter's. What? Shut up! I'm better than you can ever be! I can't believe that the owners of this promotion actually believe that I don't deserve a match on this card. I beat your seasoned veteran, Scott Keith, two months ago. Where's my match? I deserve a match! I'll tell you what, Dan Liplock. I left you off this card because I was afraid something like this would happen. I told Keys to keep himself in Peoria too. And Robbie, this is a family show, so watch your mouth. There are kids in this audience. Sorry, kids. So here's the deal. What I want you and Dan to do is I want you to get in whatever car you came in, get yourselves out of Petersburg, one thing you should take on, Rob, is do you want to do that job or do you want to do this job? Where do you want to be in this business, man? Because I'm tired of this mess. You got it? And Liplock, you want a match? How about I give you a match at the biggest show of the year? Petersburg Fire Department. Emergency Response 6. Heroes Among Us. You want to fight? Keys wants to fight you too, so let's throw out the rule book. Let's make it a street fight. You and Keys, one-on-one -on -one in a street fight. And don't think I forget about your interference all the time. If, if you want to get involved all the time, Keys told me he wants a piece of you too. So I was hesitant, Robbie. You're not a wrestler. You're a manager. You're a commentary guy. You're a ring announcer. I didn't want to put you in harm's way, but you put yourself in this position. So if your man, Dan Liplock, can't get the job done in November, Keys gets two minutes in the ring alone with you. No interference, no nothing. And he told me he can beat you with his hands tied behind his back. So I'm going to take him up on the offer. And I'll make it fair. If your man Dan can beat Keys, I'll tie his hands behind his back and give you two minutes in the ring alone with him. Yeah, there we go. Now, if you guys will help me with kicking these fellas out of here, you guys can take your leave and get out of my ring. Goodbye. Have a good night. Take your leave. Robbie, just in case you don't have a car, here's some money for a cab. Get out of here. All right, now that we've taken care of business here and we got those two idiots out of here. I don't